Hi everyone, thanks for watching, my name is Adolfo Reyes and today we are going to patch uh, Oracle Web Logic Server uh, version 14.1 to the last version according to the uh, last patch set update with this Oracle node. So in this case we are going to patch the last version January 2022 uh, applying this patch that cover around 20 or 15 vulnerabilities yes or advice or numbers that probably covers all these things so today we are going to make these recommendations yes following all the steps and actually we need first we need to apply uh, one patch or update the O patch so in order of this we are going to download the last version of O patch that is the tool that we use to to patch the web logic yes so this was uh, released on January 2022 so you can download following this link and of course you are going to uh, download the last patch according to the version in this case the last version will be 13.9428 that covers WebLogic 14 so in this case we are going to download uh, and after that we are going to uh, download the patch yes you're going to download the patch following all in the steps yes that if you see it's highly recommended so we are going to download the patch and after that we are going to check all the following notes so of course you can check the readme that have all the steps if you see you have here all the readme uh, and the steps so actually I'm here in this web logic that today we are going to patch and we are going to check that it's a single node that have admin server and one management server that live in the same server so we are going to patch we are going to check the the updates that have the patch list and do you see that the, uh, and you you see that it's that no have any patches applied so in this case uh, we are going to shoot down all the servers yes and after that we are going to make fall the following steps so you shoot down your management server that it's in the same server if you have another server you don't have to download yes so you are going to decrease the zero down time so in, in in this case I'm going to shoot down the server the managed server and after that I'm going to shoot down the admin server in order of this I'm going to the SSH console and we are going to locate we are going to locate the the patches so if you see you have uh, the p the the, uh, the o patch patch yes so i'm going to make an unzip of this patch uh, let's check to zero three okay so if you see they create this folder and we can check the readme so in this case you check the readme and have all these recommendations and fixes yeah do you see that have all so in this case you only need yes to check 
how we can patch, how we can update. So if you see uh, using Linux Unix kernel, uh, we are going to apply Java hyper jar the number of patch and we are going to check this O patch generic jar in silent mode and we are going to use and select the, uh, the Oracle home. So for today we are going to select and we are going to prepare our commands. So uh, you are going to check your your Java version. Uh, so if you see you don't have Java version, yes, so I'm going to call here, okay, got it. My Java version is here, so I'm going to call opatch and I'm going to call my Oracle home. So in this case is in U01 Oracle middleware oracle home so i'm going to i'm going to paste it here and i'm going to patch but first of all i'm going to to declare some environment variables that we need in order to to check before the patch so actually i'm going to list with a O patch ls inventory in order to list all my my patch in this domain and of course we are going to check my O patch version that it's here so I'm going to patch I'm going to start patching no oh, so sorry I'm going to start patching user java bean okay so if you see uh, is using this and it's starting yes 98 percent and if you see it's uh, it's successfully patched so i'm going to check again my version so we are going to compare here that is O patch 13.9.4.2.3 and I'm going to compare with the actual version okay okay got it so this one is uh, the last version we're going to compare here yes that is this one and the other one that is here this is before and after so if you see this have the last version yeah okay so actually I'm going again to the patches to the patch directory and if you see uh, actually I'm going to patch using this last that we see on the note so I'm going to unzip so it's working on it okay and I'm going to I'm going to tell you a tip that we need to to use one temporary director that it I, I recommend that it's going to use in the same file system by default it use the temporal file system so in this case I'm going to declare this Java option that I'm going to say that u01 temp it's my temporary directory so is not going to use the slash temp so I'm going to check my file system and I'm going to check my available space so it's correct and I'm going to check I'm going to check my last patch okay so if you see it's here it's here and have the patch and of course have the readme so of course you can check all the issues that it solve and it 
uh, this patch is uh, have all the patches have all the fixes yes by one by okay you see 2201 and of course you can check you can check all the steps here so probably will be the same if you see uh, it's going to apply the patch okay so of course you can check all the documentation pre-installations and something like this okay in this readme you have all the steps and of course rollback steps so in order of this the steps are the same that we that, that we apply remember declare your oracle home you are going to export the path the path and of course you are going to um, locate in the patch and you're going to apply the patch how we can apply the patch with the command o patch apply so o patch apply so if you see is picket my temporary directory and of course is read the my last o patch version so o patch detects the middleware oracle home so I'm going to accept okay I'm going to proceed is the local system ready for patching of course because you need to shut down all everything okay and previously previously uh, we shut down I'm going to set no I'm going to cancel my my installation I'm going to check hyper Java okay so if you see the node manager is up okay I forgot to download to shoot down so I'm going to shoot down I'm going to kill the process and I'm going to wait wait in order to kill the process okay so if you see no Java version it's are, are running so I'm going to apply the patch oh patch apply again it's setting the temporary file it's reading the old patch version and it's going to confirm my uh, my uh, uh, middle home, middleware home that it's here so I'm going to proceed I'm going to confirm and the patching now is ready for patching so it's okay yes so the system is going to prepare the patch okay so probably will take some time if you see it's reading the iterating patch and it's preparing now actually is applying the patch so let's wait some minutes now uh, for rollback process you can check the the readme and you can apply some rollback using the the patch id we are going to check after we patch okay so it takes some time so you can go you can go to take a coffee and check okay so after that the patch is success applied how you can check with o patch inventory remember that in the readme file it's are all these steps that you can check so you are going to check the the patching status yes the patching status and you 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 check that have that have generated the last patch and we apply today so in order of this o patch is success you see all the bugs that it that are fixed so in this case you can start so I'm going to check again the readme file so let me check the readme file and we are going to read about rollback process rollback so if you see if you need if you if you need to apply a rollback you only we are going you only we are you are only uh, use this command o patch rollback hyper ID and the number of the patch 
So in this case, you are going to make a correct rollback rollback process. So in order of this, I, I'm I'm not going to make a rollback. Okay. So I'm going to start again all my domain. I'm going to start when I'm going to locate my user projects domain. Okay. And I'm going, of course, to, to start the node manager process. If you have some scripts to start your domain, of course, you are going to use your 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 scripts or your process that you have already defined. Let me check my notes. So actually, we are going to start the web. Uh, sorry, we are going to start node manager process. Okay. So let me check. I'm going to start. So in this case, you are going to have node manager process, and of course, I'm going to make an output. Okay. Let's check. Note manager. Okay, so if you see have secure layer, it's running. Okay, so after that, I'm going to start my my web logic admin server. Okay, so let me prepare my comments with a no hub process. Remember that if you have your scripts you can use it. I'm going to start the domain. Oh, so sorry. I don't copy the command. I'm going to paste it. Okay, so in order of this, let me check. And it's uh, it's starting right now. Ah, so sorry, so sorry. I see here one little mistake. Okay, again. Okay, so if you see it's here, the version, and it's starting. So let's wait some minutes, it's in resume. And after that, actually is in running mode. So in this case, I'm going to check my domain again. I'm going to log in into the server WebLogic console and I'm going to check my okay let's check monitoring and do you, you see patch list and also have apply finally you I'm going to start the management server. I'm going to start. Okay, and we are going to wait some minutes in order to check that all my application is starting correctly and is running, okay? Let's check some minute more. Probably this kind of, of warnings you can check because uh, you need probably uh, have some recommendation about updates or more updates or JDK Java updates so you can check later, okay? So in this case you see that have this deployment, you can check your application, okay? So. In this point, in this point, you see that the application is running. Okay, you are going to test. So if you see, it's correct. This is a normal uh, behavior of the application. So in this case, uh, we have already finished and patched correctly and Oracle WebLogic. Thanks for watching.